From watching what these children get to do here, I hope you agree that this is a very special place. There are countless sustainable solutions that can be implemented by households, gardens, and even schools. For now, let's switch gears for a moment and have a sit down conversation with a very passionate teacher on her philosophy when it comes to educating young children. They're going to grow up to be the stewards. It's their job in the future to take care of the earth. And so our job right now is to help them fall in love with it so that they'll care about it when they're adults. Susanne is referring to each and every single one of these young faces. These beautiful children are going to grow up as the stewards of this world. They will be in charge of protecting our planet. In Susanne's classroom, children as young as three years old are hands-on with the daily green initiatives. The best part is none of the students are obligated or even asked to participate in the environmental tasks. They simply volunteer and want to do it. How do we make sure that they are involved? So it's ingrained already in the way that we work with the children. So because, because they have free choice of work in the classroom, we teach them how to do these things. We teach them, for example, the feeding the worms. I will give a lesson to a group of children on how to do that. And then that work is on the shelf and it's available for anybody to choose to do. And so they themselves decide to participate. Once we introduce them to an activity that's available to them, they, they choose it themselves. They think it's the coolest. And so we have children every day that will fill up our bird feeders and that will, when the worm, when the worm feeding is available, that somebody will choose that work and do it themselves and so they are participating in all of these aspects. The children at Beautiful Sun aren't told about their role when it comes to nature and environment but they live it and it all comes naturally as part of their everyday school program. Some people have asked us um, why, why don't you teach more sustainability? teach it and so so some people have this idea that um, we have to give lessons about recycling and reducing and reusing and things like that but instead what we have tried to do with our age group of children they're very young three to six years old is that we try to make it a part of their daily school experience it's a part of what they live here so sorting their trash for example when they finish their fruit at lunch if they have a piece of fruit peel it's going to go into the compost bin instead of into the regular trash and there's there's lettuce, pineapple. Oh, and scraps from the day? Yeah, yeah and, and there's carrot peel. Also, there's also orange. Okay, yeah. and, and what are you, where are you going to put it now? We're going to put it in the compost. Compost. Okay, go ahead. Ah, it's heavy. So they live it and in their experience of it when they're young hopefully there is enjoyment and, and care and love for it so that they will grow up to be adults who find comfort and love and, and care for their environment too. These children are as young as three years old and as old as six years old. When it comes to nature and environment, there is one important thing to get across to them. I think that the message at this age, from what I have read about environmental education, at this age what we want is for them to care. We want them to love being outside, that they don't feel afraid of being outside, that they like it, that they like climbing trees, that they, that they like being around plants and running around and that getting dirty is not a problem. So if they have a sensorial and emotional experience of the outdoors, um, that will translate, a positive experience of nature as a child will translate as, a, as an adult who cares when they are older. It definitely seems like it's working. This group of children looks like they're having a ton of fun outdoors. We swing, we climb, we play the sandbox, we play hide and seek. Do you love being outside? Yeah. Yeah, is it fun? Yeah. You love playing outside? Yeah. Why do you love playing outside? Because this is our school. We go in the sandbox. We play in the little house on the swings. Everywhere. 
Susanne goes above and beyond. You've seen a lot into all the green efforts she's put into place for our environment. You've also seen the many special ways she encourages children to love nature. Yet, what I've shown you today is only scratching the surface. For instance, when the school hosts parent night, guests are asked to bring their own plates and silverware from home to avoid using any single-use plastics. She also hosts workshops on sustainability. But the question is, why does she do all of this? I care. I care. I care about the world. I care about the environment. I'm one of those people who has anxiety about um, about the planet. I consider working with little children and teaching them about these things to be, uh, it's an honor and I think it's really important work. My daughter Wesley is lucky enough to go to school here. I continue to be amazed at all the meaningful things that she gets to do on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for on-demand access to all our stories. We post weekly original content about Aruba celebrating the island. Signing off right here at the beautiful San Montessori School, I'm Yantolu. We'll see you next time.